We've only been open for five months now. I'll be straight up, it's probably not to a place where I want it to be at the moment, so it makes it even more hard to leave. It's my biggest achievement, I feel. Really, I've only been in the food industry for four years. People say that I've been given a leg up from MasterChef, and I'm, I have. I, I mean, I'm the first guy to admit that I was the worst cook on the show going into it, into the top 24. Man, I had no idea. And I suppose that that's probably, you know, a reason for these shows is that I want to learn, and you learn by getting out there. You learn by, you know, being hands-on, being close to those farmers, being close to that produce, and then, you know, getting some inspiration doing something on the spot with that produce. The Andy and Ben series is strange because it's kind of not work, um, surprisingly enough. When I sit down and have conversations, in particular with family, I'm like, we want to go and film the next series of Andy and Ben. They're like, that's not work though. Like, you're just going to go and have a holiday. Like, no, no, we work pretty hard. It's, it's, so it is, it's a good break, um, as much as it is a TV show and it gets filmed. Unfortunately, I don't get to, to do all of the tour with him just because of how hectic things are here. So it's nice that we'll start the series here in Tassie and I'll check in with him in Victoria because it's just across the pond and then I'll head up to Queensland with him. The great thing about the Andy and Ben series is it's, it's real. Like nothing is forced, nothing is fake, nothing is scripted, nothing is made up. If Andy and I went off and did this without cameras, the same things would occur. And a lot of the time the cameras become part of the monster that is trip. So I, I love that about this series. Australia, we're going from the bottom of Tassie all the way up to the top of Queensland in search of the best food. Starting in Tassie, there's no better man to show me the best food in Tassie than my buddy Benny. It's been six months since I last saw the guy. I'm that keen to see him. He's got a little homestead about 10 minutes out of town. I'm gonna go catch up with him and the family and then go find some good eats. Fair home, we're here. Here's a miniature horse. Oh my god. Look at him. Imagine if he's not home. I haven't even told him that they were coming. He's not in the kitchen. Hello. Hey. hey, big fella. Good, how are you? Good. Good to see you. It's been a long while. Perfect timing too, I'm making a coffee. Mate, coffee. Let's catch, catch up. Catch up. It's been a long, long time. Six months, I reckon. I reckon since the last time we talked, you've opened a restaurant. Mate, if you're having second thoughts, just don't bother doing it. Really? <laughs> it's so hard. No, don't tell me that. It's so hard. We just got the final plans for ours. Think of how hard you possibly think it could be, and then times it by 20. What do you seat, though? 210. Yeah, we seat 60. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a bit easier. But, mate, with the, the lowest of lows comes the highest of highs. Yeah. I mean, I know you work your, your butt off in there now, but the thing I miss from the life I had before is routine. Mm. So it would kind of give me routine, yeah. it would give me a place that's yeah. home in there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about what we're going to do. Yeah. How's that coffee? Sensational. So the plan. I thought about unique Tasmanian things, I guess. So Cape Grim, yeah. which I mean, no we've, we've been there before. It's got to be shown. Yeah. I thought, I mean, we've been out in the boat with my dad before, <laughs> but we haven't been abalone diving. The long line. Yeah. The dreaded long line. Yeah. So we're going to go out abalone diving. Perfect. Yeah. So we get some abalone and some sea urchins, some yeah. uni. And then I thought we might head through to Hobart. My two favourite places in Tasmania are based really close to each other in Hobart. Yeah. So we'll show you them. Yeah. And then Bruny Island, which is creating its own sort of 
vibe for, for food as well. Yeah. So we'll go and have a look at what's happening there. Awesome. We're going to do the Bruni Island Long Weekend, which is a bit of a food tour of Bruni Island. Have a look See. at that. See. And that's Tassie in a nutshell, basically. Perfect. Made on that keen. Yeah. All right. Ready to hit the road? Let's do it. See ya, mate. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Can we say this? Yeah. Sick. Oh, now we're talking. All right, All let's right. do this.